Hey guys, uh, thanks so much for joining me today. Um, so today we're going to be talking about a new device that I picked up, uh, the ZMAX from Smoke. Um, picked mine up from All About Vapor in uh, Round Rock, just north of Austin here. And um, it's, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with the ZMAX, it is a tube style mod. Um, it is variable voltage device. It is also a variable wattage device um, that it's base unit comes as an 18650 mod um, and if you're familiar with the VMAX or if you have a VMAX or have had a chance to to work with a VMAX um, it's very similar um, very similar in size to what the VMAX is um, with a, a couple of real distinct differences um, one thing is obviously the VMAX uses stacked 18350 batteries in order to work it is like I said, a variable voltage device. Um, your kind of typical menu system on one of those with the one button that activates both the menu and fires your atomizer or cardamizer. And, you know, the menu has, you know, your voltage up, voltage down, uh, several different display options, checks your battery voltage and everything. Um, where the ZMAX picks up from the VMAX is, is um, you know, obviously first and foremost, the fact that it is a variable wattage device um, so it adds, obviously, your ability to change it from variable voltage to variable wattage in the menu. And it also has the ability to read the resistance and display the resistance of whatever atomizer or cardamizer you're using on it. So if you're not familiar with what variable wattage is and what it does for you, um, I'll try and explain it um, in simplified terms. Is It basically, the circuitry in the ZMAX... Um, you set whatever wattage you want, which is anywhere from 3 to 15 watts. Um, and you're going to do that like you would any variable voltage device. You're just going to grab your atomizer or cardamizer, put it on there, and start cranking it up until you get to a, uh, you know, a perfect level of vaping for you on that juice uh, with that atomizer and cardamizer. And... Um, when you switch to a different atomizer or cardamizer, be it a different resistance atomizer or cardamizer, the ZMAX is going to determine what the resistance is and then it will change the voltage for you to accommodate the difference in resistance to give you the same vaping experience as you did on your previous uh, cardamizer or atomizer. So what it allows you to do is if you're like me and you go through you know three four different juices in a day um, where I'm constantly switching different uh, tanks or different atomizers um, you know depending on where I'm at when I'm home I tip I typically will drip and I'll have a, a 1.8 or a 2 ohm atomizer on there and I'll drip while I'm here and when I go to uh, shoot out the door to go to work or whatever I'll grab like my 2.5 um, ohm cardo tank which this is a, a dual coil cardo tank and I don't have to worry about changing my voltage or anything I just slap it on there and go and I know that when I go to vape it it's gonna feel the same as what it was with my 1.8 ohm atomizer and it works really really well I have a 2.5 on there right now um, I happen to have a 1.5 ohm dual coil tank that I use on my Ego Twist and I can just throw that right on there and vape and I get the exact same heat and the exact same flavor out of the 1.5 that I do off of my 2.5 um, without having to make any adjustments whatsoever and I'm running this at about 10 ohms, seems to have found my happy place on that. Um, and uh, it, uh, it works really, really well. Um, off the 18650 battery, I've typically been getting about two days of use, and I've pretty much just been using this nonstop since I got it. I've had about two weeks that I've, that I've played with it. Um, you can, one thing about the ZMAX is, is if you want, if you've already got the 18350 batteries from the ZMAX or from a different mod, you actually can run the stacked 18350s on, on it. And all it takes is a, a different end cap, which is a little bit longer, if you can see that, a little bit longer than the one that comes on at standard. 
and you can run the the stacked 18350s on it. Now, the battery life I seems like I get a little bit better battery life off the 18350s than I do off the 18650s, um, which is odd because they're 700 ma as opposed to uh, I believe the uh, IMR that I have in here is a uh, 2100 ma battery. 1600 mile battery, excuse me. Um, so you would think that I would get uh, more use off of the 18650 than I do off the 18350s, uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, as far as the function wise, it works just as good whether no matter what batteries um, I seem to have in it. Works great. Still works at 10 ohms. I don't notice any difference. I've heard a couple of people that say that they felt it hit a little bit harder off the 18350s than off of the 18650 battery. Um, I haven't really experienced that myself. Um, and it doesn't tend to make a whole lot of sense why it would be different, especially if you're running it off of watts as opposed to the voltage. Because the whole idea behind it is that it's supposed to regulate the voltage uh, depending on what wattage you have in there so therefore which batteries you have in it shouldn't make a difference other than the uh, you know obviously the battery life based on the the mods of the battery um, so I really like this thing um, I am so much not a fiddly person when it comes to vaping I'm a very lazy vapor and I don't like having to uh, you know I, I like my selection of, of juices I like to change them out a lot which means I've got several cartomizers and several tanks that I'll tend to cycle throughout the course of the day and I like not having to adjust it just put it on there and go all I've got to do is take an extra battery with me just in case um, if it's a fresh battery I know that I can go you know a an entire day of vaping without having to worry about it you know um, or two days you know depending on how much I'm actually using it um, it's a really good looking mod um, this one of course being the polished is a fingerprint magnet but again uh, you know as far as the the ruggedness of the the mod itself I've had no issues with it at all um, I'm just going to sit here and keep vaping while I'm doing the, the video. Um, so, you know, for what you get versus how much this mod costs, you know, I've, I've got to recommend this really strongly. Um, All About Vapor sells the basic kit for about for $125. Now, that's just the mod, no battery, and that's with the 18650 cap on it. Now, you can... I think if you want to get the 18350 cap, it's $595. Um, you can pick up the battery from them for, I believe, about $13, the 18650. Or if you don't have the 18350 batteries either, I believe it runs uh, about $16 for um, the pair of them. Um, you can also get the chargers and everything. I believe they have some trust fire double chargers, side-by-side -side chargers that you can pick up for like 10 bucks. So you, you can get uh, all set up there. And of course, they've got all of your atomizers, cartomizers, juices, and whatnot. If you've already got the batteries, it's it's really a fantastic deal. Um, and it works so, so well. Um, it really works very well. Um, uh, I have several different mods, all kinds of different batteries and, and things laying around. And I've really found myself not using anything other than the ZMAX just simply because of the simplicity of, of using it. Um, so I'd really recommend getting over to their website, giving it giving it a try. Um, if uh, you've been using a variable voltage device um, and you, you're like me and you change out your atomizers and cartomizers quite a bit, um, you're just really gonna be uh, happy with uh, the, the ZMAX. Um, it's gonna make your life so much simpler. Um, you know, Not to mention the fact that these menus tend to be a little uh, kind of a pain in the butt um, to be honest with you uh, trying to navigate uh, on the VMAX I was constantly going past my voltage up or the voltage down menu and I had to cycle all the way back through again and the ZMAX totally solves that issue um, so check it out I uh, hope the uh, the review was helpful to you um, if you have any questions please leave me a comment down in the comment section I'll do my best to answer them for you um, and you know now to my little rant um, that I have about this. Um, the, the issue that, that I want to address that I, I've really got to get off my chest with y'all is is uh, I've had 
a couple of instances where I've been on the forums or I've been watching different, um, you know, web shows and stuff, and, and, and I've heard a couple of different comments about, oh, well, these are Chinese knockoffs of whatever. Now, and let's be honest, I mean, the, the, it was really designed, the ZMAX was really designed to compete with a couple of different devices. It was designed to compete with the Proveri, and it was designed to compete with the Darwin, okay? Um, so is it a Chinese knockoff? Yeah, it is a Chinese knockoff, uh, you know, uh, but let's take into a, a couple of things into consideration. Does the device work? Yeah, the device works really, really well. Can you get a Darwin? No, not likely. You can, but they are very difficult to, to get a hold of. Not to mention the fact that they are outlandishly expensive. Um, can you get a Proveri? Yeah, you can get a Proveri all you want. Um, and if you're lucky, you'll pay $150, $160 for it if you're lucky. Uh, typically, you're going to be anywhere from $180 to $190, I believe, is what they typically sell the base kit for. Um, the other thing is, is I don't think anybody's out saying that these are the same build quality um, as what the Proveri or the Darwin or the Empire or whatever you know American-made mod you want to talk about. I don't think there's anybody out there saying that. Um, what they're saying is it works, which it does, and it's certainly less expensive and very readily available. Um, the other side of that is if you ha if you're having an issue with it strictly being from China, you have to bear in mind that just about everything we use in the vape community, from our batteries to the atomizers to the cardamizers to uh, you know your chargers, are almost all made in China. So that's just childish to bring up the point that it's a Chinese-made mod. Well, most everything we're using is a Chinese-made mod. The thing that really got me pissed off about the about a specific vendor that made a comment about it being a cheap crappy Chinese knockoff is I went to this vendors website and they are selling knockoff ego kits not egos but something that looks just like a, a Joytech ego so you're bashing a product calling it a cheap Chinese knockoff when you in fact are selling a cheap Chinese knockoff of a Chinese product I can't think of anything more hypocritical anything more childish that I have ever encountered in my life. It's just stupid. Look, if you want to promote the products that you sell and the devices that you use, say, hey, you know what, I've got a whatever and it works great, it's fantastic, you should come buy one, great, do that. But by telling people that these are cheap Chinese knockoff crap, what you might be doing is you're definitely doing a disservice to your customer maybe not to your customers, but you're doing a disservice to the vaping community in general by potentially turning a customer off of buying a device that may keep them from going back to smoking. You know, the reality is, is not everybody can afford two, three, four hundred dollars for a mod. Maybe they can afford hundred and twenty five dollars for a mod and for a mod that works very well. You know, I can't think of a whole lot of devices that I've personally used that have worked as well as what the ZMAX does. Now, does that mean that I wouldn't love to have a Pravari, that I wouldn't love to have a Darwin? I would love to have one of those. I honestly would. I can't afford them. Can they do anything that this doesn't do? The reality is, is they don't. So, let's put all the childish nonsense to the side. And, you know, we as vapors, as reviewers, you know, let's keep the reviews honest and open and keep the bigotry out of it and keep the, the the nonsense out of the opinions and if you're a vendor out there promote your products you know all you do by talking about how other people's products are crap or they don't work is you're making yourself look childish you're looking making yourself definitely hypocritical and you're just you're turning off customers because I know if all I hear from somebody is how bad this is and how bad that is and how crappy this is no way am I doing business with that vendor that's just uh, you know if you've got to bash other people's products so that you know you can get customers to your store um, that, that's no way to do business that's no way to represent yourself as a professional that's no way to represent yourself as part of the vaping community so uh, that's my rant um, 
maybe went a little bit longer than I intended to. I apologize. Um, you know, I'd love to hear, you know, your thoughts on it. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Uh, leave them down in the comment section. Uh, you know, your input uh, means the world to me. Uh, this is You guys are the reason why I'm doing this. Um, so I want to know what you think. Uh, I appreciate you watching and uh, keep on vaping.